What's up, my little bocchini? Today, let's talk about trail running. Despite my young age, I have participated and won several long distance races. The experience I acquired in each of them has made me a stronger and smarter competitor. And today, I decided to share five ultramarathon tips with you guys. If you're doubtful about my legitimacy, I invite you to take a look at my Strava profile, which will be linked in the description. Most of the time, the course will be available on the race website, so you should take advantage of it and analyze the key components, such as the distance between the refueling station, what food will be at this station, how the elevation gain is distributed, and what kind of pavement on, will be on the course. Every information you can get will help you pace yourself in advance, and you'll have a better idea of how to distribute your energy throughout the race. Running for multiple hours can get really boring if you don't have something to distract you with. Early on, I advise you find someone with a similar fitness level as you so you can talk with each other for the hours to come. Chances are, you'll have a lot to discuss about because you like the same crazy sport. If socializing is not your thing though, no big deal. You can still listen to some music or enjoy the beautiful landscape that you come across. After a long constant effort, the mind kind of ease out, you lose concentration and you just want to give up. But you really have to keep it together because the last thing you want is getting lost or tripping over some roots and getting injured. Oh, and trust me, it happens where you least expect it. For me, this loss of concentration happens around the five hour mark, but it's different for everyone. Also, to fight the urge to give up, try remembering why you signed up in the first place or think about the massive feast you'll eat afterward. That will give you motivation for sure. Ultramarathon are literally ups and down. It's totally okay to walk a steep or slippery hill. I even recommend it to conserve your energy or change the pace a little. The most common technique is called power walk and it consists of fast walking while pressing on your knees with your hands so you can climb faster. Also, it's almost impossible that you feel good from start to finish. Listen to your body and try differentiating the pain leading to future injuries than superficial pain or discomfort. This is probably the most important concern for a runner during a long run because you don't want to run out of energy. It's pretty common that after a long descent, people forget to eat and when they face the next mountain, they're completely out of fuel. My formula consists to drink water or electrolyte beverages every 15 minutes, eating sugary snacks such as dates, Oreos, dried fruit, syrup every half hour, and I try to eat something more substantial such as peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every two, uh, two or three hours. The easiest way to remember is to set an alarm on your watch every 15 minutes or so. Also, be careful of the refueling station and only eat the food that you're comfortable with to avoid any sorts of ingestions. Also remember to treat yourself and don't be afraid to eat too much or unhealthy foods because you'll burn thousands of calories anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Finally, follow your instinct and enjoy the enriching experience that is ultra running. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.